So with the Asian Swing kicking off next week, the final sort of leg of the WTA Tour before we go to Mexico for the WTA Finals, Alina Rabakina is not happy with how the draw has sort of panned out, and it's for a very interesting reason. Let's go have a look at why. So this is what she had to post on social media a few hours ago, showing the picture of the draw saying, performance by, thank you for changing the rules last moment, great decision and always, WTA. And you can see there that she is the number three seed and she does not get a buy in the first round. But Zachary and Garcia, who are four and five seeds, they get a performance buy due to the fact that they played Guadalajara last week and got rewarded for their good weeks last week. Now, having a look over at the WTA rule book, this has actually been in the rule book for the entire season. On page 519, it shows what is a performance buy. It says the type of buy awarded to a player based on a previous week's performance as determined by the WTA when approving the calendar and draw sizes. Basically, in layman's terms, it means that the players that played well the previous week or the previous few weeks get a bye in the first round. And Rabakina didn't play last week. She didn't play in Guadalajara. She actually skipped the event and she has to play in the first round. So she doesn't get a first round bye to get to the second round. She is gonna have to play Nuskova in the first round. And because of her performance last week making the semis, Garcia gets her bye taken from Rabakina. So it's a weird rule. I don't remember it being used anytime recently or at all, in fact, in the last couple of years. But let me know down the comments below. If you've heard of this before, performance bye, it's new to me. I think it's a little unfair because Rabakina chose not to play last week. Had she have known this, I'm sure she would have played Guadalajara knowing that she was going to lose her bye in the first round of future tournaments potentially. And this kind of like makes seeding irrelevant, it seems, because you could be the number three seed, but you don't get a bye in the first round if you don't play the week before. And it's a slippery slope. I mean, how far do we go down the track? If you don't play this week, is the number one seed next week going to lose a bye in the first round? Because... Sabalenka's not playing here. Is she going to be able to, you know, like, how far do we go with this? But Rabakina not happy with the decision given out by the WTA.